So I've got a couple of little more goodies in the mail. Um, got these. These are alloy. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to weigh these. I'm going to weigh the other ones. I'm going to take off because the other ones are stainless steel. And weigh the difference because this is awesome. But I've also got some uh, FS racing clutches. Um, I don't know. I've had... I've had good dealings with these clutches. Uh, I did run them with a Turtle Racing Grabber uh, bell in the past. I've used them with with a stock bell as well. Uh, and that's what I'll be doing for a little while until I see that the bell's no good and I might upgrade to a Grabber. But yeah, I've got these. These are cheap from AliExpress. Like, I've got these two for like under, I think it was $39, under $40 posted. You know, that's pretty cheap. Over here you can get them upwards to $60, $70 with these. So on average in Australia, they're going for around, I'd say $50. So I've got two for 40, good deal. Uh, what we'll also do is have a look, have a look at the internals of the Roven LT diff. So we'll do we'll probably do that first and then we'll put these plates on afterwards. So let's rip this center diff out and see what we find out. So far it looks alright. I'll empty it out. We'll have a look. Well, to my surprise, all these look good. So it's not the center diff. How's that, eh? I thought all this would be in pieces. But, um, no, it's all good. So, let's have a look at the rear. So I've got the rear. And that wants a spin. Let's grab the front. There you go. It's a front diff. There you go. Because it's not a lock diff, um, if you lose the front, then it'll just free spin on the center diff because it's not locked. Because I'm thinking, oh, hang on, I saw that the uh, the rears would still work with the center diff being good. Well, unfortunately, I already bought a locker for this. I'll still put it in. Uh, I'm waiting on a second locker from the guy I bought the Roven from, the first Roven I had. At some stage, I'll have a second locker. I'll put, probably put that in a lossy. I'm up for new 
new front gears. Uh, I'll probably just get some lossy ones. This is what I was told where these could fail. You know, I was told the servos, the diffs. Well, guess what? Servos I've upgraded. Diffs still original, and they've let go. Well, one of them's let go, so no, it's not a it's not a big issue. Like realistically, if it's just the diffs that go, it's no big deal. Who knows what this went through? You know, it could be hours and hours and hours of bashing. Uh, don't know. You know the chassis. The chassis is not too beaten up, so yeah. So there we have it. That's what happened. The front diffs no good. I'll be ripping that out, I guess, and um, see what that looks like. We're gonna rip out that front diff. already bolts are backed out so I don't know yeah I think the gears are fucked Yeah. No good, it's taking the top off it. What a shit, eh? Just because they're loose. Again, this is a good. That's one thing that the um, the Ravens have got on the lossies. It's another alloy housing. But, was there a uh, Loctite on it? You know. They're all loose. There's only one that's sort of still in there. 
what it did is just uh, it's chewing out the housing. I don't know if I need a new one of those too. Yeah, but that gear seems alright. But I think I might get a set. I'll undo this screw and see how we're looking. So as you can see, she's a little dry. I think all the internal gears are good. I might just buy a new gear set and be done with it. There you have it. Yeah, so the pinion looks alright. I don't know if it's worth taking the risk or not though. You know? Don't want to put it all back together and then it's not right or what. I might just put a new pinion as well. New pinion. New pinion, new ring gear. More internals. I think I have to get a new housing as well. That's pretty screwed. That's just going to weaken it. Far out. The cost of this is going to go through the roof. <sighs> I'll have to add up the costs and uh, I'll let you guys know how much a, a full diff encasing replacement from lossy costs. Because I'll, I'll just go lossy now. So there you have it. There's the bad news. Like everything. Just needs a bit of money spent. I've already got these new cups. So that's ready to go. So I will we'll keep you posted.